School is back in session in less than a month for yeah. thousands of students across Green Country, and that includes about 20,000 plus at Broken Arrow Public Schools alone. Superintendent Chuck Perry is here with me now to tell us how they're preparing for the new year. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. Boy, Superintendent Perry, right after the Father's Day storm happens, you know, we ran this video of Broken Arrow Schools and at the Freshman Academy, the damage that you had there from those, you know, 90, 100 mile an hour winds. How are you doing on damage? How are you doing on the cleanup? Is everything going to be ready to go for the school year? Uh, shout out to our maintenance team. They got on things right away and worked to, uh, you know, remediate and clean uh, up a lot of that area. We're thankful that it was just at one school site. Uh, we'll be ready for school to start. Uh, our gym area, they were able to save the gym floor, which saved us a lot of money. Oh, I can uh, imagine. Getting that moisture extracted from that. But the stadium, um, it will not be ready before school starts. But we have other contingency plans. Our main high school stadium is in great shape, so we'll just plan to play a lot of ball games there. Yeah, the big house is going to yeah, be ready right. to go. Now, right. now, for the freshman stadium yeah. specifically, you will, have a, you will have solutions for that, even though it you know, got damaged in the wind. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It'll need a new press box, and we're making sure clean up. There's no nails. There's a track there too, and no nails or metal in the turf. So we're we're working through that right now. But uh, nothing that would you know hinder us from starting school in, in here in about a month. And all the ex in, you know important things of the school buildings where kids are going to be in school. Those are ready to go. Will be open that for the school. We're ready to go. Good. Here we go. Well, boy, you know, we I was looking through the numbers, and, you know, you all had 20,115 last year, according to the latest stats on the yeah. Department of Education's website. Is there any way to tell, and we have a little graphic here, is there any way to tell at this point if you're going to be having more, what your growth rate is this year, a, a fast-growing school district? It is. We, we have about uh, 20,000 students, like you said, hit that mark last year. I expect that to continue to grow. We're growing about 500 students a year, which is if you look at that, it's about one elementary school per year, but it's wow. spread out over uh, K through 12 or pre-K through 12. Um, we, we really um, are thankful for our voters passing bond issues because we have a, a middle school, uh, eighth grade academy that's being built right now on our Sequoia Middle School campus that will accommodate some of the, the growth. We have a, another elementary school that is part of the 2015 bond issue that we're looking at um, either building that elementary or maybe adding pods or con to our existing uh, elementary sites. So it's it's a challenge, but it's a good thing too. You you love the growth. We love people coming into our community, and we feel like we offer them a great education for our students. With the Broken Arrow High School being 4,500, the largest brick and mortar high school in Oklahoma, how do you keep from splitting it? Because I know that there's been talks in the past of splitting up the high school. That's not something that you want to do and don't think needs to be done, right? Well, I mean, that, that would be up to our, our Board of Education and uh, making those decisions. Right now, we don't have the bonding capacity to go out and build another high school. Mm -hmm. We do have a great academy model in Broken Arrow. We have our traditional high school campus that everybody knows about there at 61st and 193rd in Broken Arrow. But we also have a Vanguard STEM Academy that's uh, just off campus, uh, about a half mile away. Uh, we have an early college high school at NSUBA that we take about 500 students that apply to go there and they can earn not only a high school diploma but an associate's uh, degree by the time they graduate. We have a great partnership with NSUBA and um, our uh, instructors are from Tulsa Community College so uh, that's a great thing for our kids. We have a virtual academy that houses kids uh, K, K through 12 and we have about 500 students of, uh, on campus there. Well actually are at home but we also have a brick and mortar campus that they can come and get some tutoring, some help when they need so we think that's a great model and then we have our options academy mm. for those students that the traditional high school setting may not be the best um, and also for students that want to graduate early or has some you know extenuating circumstances outside um, the, out of their control with uh, their personal life or such and there's a great environment there of a little bit smaller class sizes so we've, we have choices school choice is buzzword and we feel like we have choices for 
for our students. Yeah, it, you know, the last question here from a leadership perspective, uh, Chuck, how do you manage and really an organization of 20,000 students, more teachers and staff than that? What's your leadership style and the approach to leading Broken Arrow Public Schools? First and foremost, I would say it's culture. I, I feel like to impact students' lives, you got to create a great culture to attract employees. We're the largest employer in Broken Arrow, about 2,500 employees. And I want to create a place that people want to come, start their career, build their career. And doing that takes great people. And I can't get out to all 2,500 employees, but uh, if my message of creating a great culture goes to each layer, then it, it spreads. And we've got great people. We've got a great board of education. And um, we, want, we want our teachers to, to be happy and stay there. We have about 60 openings right now of certified teachers in the state, and that's a challenge. Um, it's, we've got to uh, really address the teacher shortage over the next five years to have quality teachers in those classrooms. And applications are open. They, they, they are. Broken Come on. <laughs> All right, great. Well, Chuck Perry, Superintendent of Broken Arrow Public Schools, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck when school starts here middle of August. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on.